Well, Chadwick in lane number one, all the way down to lane number eight with Marcelo Cherigini from Auburn. The top qualifier from this morning for the Bees, who only missed that A final by four one hundredths of a second in lane number four. That's McKelly Santucci. And Rowdy, that's a gut wrenching feeling, isn't it, when you're the top qualifier, qualifier, excuse me, for the B final? Yeah, it's so hard to be ninth, <laughs> ninth, seventeenth, fourth. A lot of tough positions to be, but you know you can make it up here by swimming in a lane. You've got a lane. You're swimming in a final, whether it's a console or not. At least you get a, sw a second swim. Sometimes they have to call an alternate out. This is a great international field. Six different countries represented in this B final. A couple Italians. Lane five now empty. That was supposed to be Carl Crew from Canada. We already have seen it with the women. The start just ever so critical. That's what Ariana talked about in terms of what she needed to work on towards the bottom of the pool. Well, actually, it's a that break in lane five makes it look pretty darn even, Rowdy, as they head for the wall across the board, as you would expect in the 50. It's going to come down to the reach for the wall in hundreds of a second. Dotto exactly in lane number three. That's who it is. Luca Dotto from Italy, 22.40. Over half a second faster than he was able to go this morning in qualifying. Strong contingent from Italy. We're going to see his teammate in the A final coming up here in just a moment. Best time of 21.9, 25 years of age, and a half second better than anybody else in the field. Luca 